Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over how to draw large images using DaVinci Eye. Now, um, most of the questions that I get are based around how to do this, and with the new version of DaVinci Eye, DaVinci Eye 2.0, we've added a grid function that makes this uh, a lot easier to do. So we're going to start out with this picture here that I took at the Met the other day, and we're going to, first we're going to move it so it's oriented the way that we want to. So now it is in our orientation. I like to draw um, using the landscape mode. So we've moved it and now I'm going to unpress the move button and I'm going to shrink the image just by pinching it together and we're going to do a little bit of uh, quick math. So I'm using a very large piece of paper as you can see it's um, a 17 by 14 or 14 by 17. So I know that this is 14 inches across. So what I want to do is overlay my grid. So we're going to add the grid. We're going to press show and now we're going to do adjust. So we know that it's 14 across so we're going to do maybe uh, each grid square, we're going to make two inches big. So if we look, this right now has one, two, three, four, five, six. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that seems pretty, pretty good. So if it's seven across, that means that um, we're capturing, well, if they're two inches each, that actually works out perfectly. If we wanted to adjust that a little bit more, you in, out, you can adjust the grid. Now I'm going to unpress adjust, and now we're going to blow up our image. So to kind of show you what we're going to do, I'm going to mark here, I have a ruler. The ruler, we're going to measure out two inches. So here's one and two. So now we have to adjust the grid size to meet those two inches. So I'm gonna adjust the opacity back. And now we're gonna try and make one of these grid boxes perfectly fit in between those two perfect. So this is magnifying both the grid and the image. So that's, that's about right. I think that should work fine for me. All right, now I'm going to start off in the top right corner of my image. Um, we'll go about here. And you can see this is the top right corner of my paper. And I'm going to mark right here and right here. And we're just going to mark where all the, the grid lines are. See? All right. Right here. There's one right here. Now, I'm going to unpress the move button so we can zoom in. And this is where I start drawing. So we'll just do a quick trace. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with this, but this is just so you can kind of get the idea of how to make a larger image. All right, so I got the guy's face, we got the eyebrows, get a little bit of the nose in there. And like I said, this is just going to be a quick sketch. I'll do more videos on how to get more in-depth kind of fine detail. This is just to get an idea of how to blow up an image to be a bigger size. Get the outline of the hair. Let me do a little bit more in depth now. If we want to zoom in, we zoom in like this. All right. Maybe adjust the opacity just a little bit so that way I can see it a little bit better. Zoom back out. Get the outline of the hair on this side a little bit more. And 
Now if you want to look what that looks like, kind of just looks like that. Alright, good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and see how we have the grid lines right here. I'm just going to add dots where all of the intersections are that I can see. Now I'm going to move the whole camera down the glass that I've been resting my phone on. I'm going to press the move button to move the image. And I'm just going to move the grid up one square to match where the dots are. So I just move the grid to meet these two dots right here. So now I have everything aligned where it should be. And I'm just going to continue to draw. So now I have his neck. We'll do this, do the lips. Now if you wanted to make the grid a little bit more transparent, we'll mess with the opacity a little bit. There we go. And a little bit of shade. Alright, now we're going to do the same exact steps as we did before. And I'm going to put a little dot on this intersection, this intersection, and this intersection. I'm going to move my grid so that these grid lines now match up. I'm going to move my image up one grid. All the dots now, so you can see right here, right here, right here. And then we just continue to draw. So what we're doing is we're moving the camera to do each picture or each part of the picture one step at a time. And this is because obviously your phone camera can only view a limited amount of space on the page. So we just have to break the drawing down into multiple sections. And the grid makes this really, really easy to do. If you use the system, you can have really, really amazingly accurate, um, stunning drawings. I'm going to do the same thing. So we already have our dots. We're going to move down again, align our dots with our grid. See? Here, here. We're going to move the grid up where those dots are, and then we continue to draw. Press the move button. Now if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to shoot me an email inside of the app, or you can leave comments on this video. And usually I respond within 24 hours. Um, any questions, concerns, any improvements you want to see. By the way, I realize that the, the grid is a little bit finicky right now. I'm working to improve that. So um, every week there's more progress on working out bugs, working out kinks, and making things easier to use. So just to let you know, I'm an artist myself, so and I actually do use this app. Um, so I'm aware usually of most of the things that are pretty annoying. <laughs> Um, and I have been working to fix them, but there's you know, a lot of stuff. And when I say we, it's, it's really just me. <laughs> All right. So now we have this intersection here. We have right here, right here. I'll move the glass down. Move the picture up. And we continue. Now, you should be getting the idea of how I'm doing this, where it's just a moving left to right or up and down to meet all the different parts to do it in sections. And I realize it's not exactly that intuitive when you first download the app, but it's also kind of hard to explain in uh, written instructions. So hopefully this will help a good bunch of you guys out. Like I said, if you have any questions 
about what I'm doing, um, feel free again to shoot me an email. Also, I'd love to see what you guys are drawing. I love seeing um, how people are using the app. And if you do something really cool, we can post it up on our social media as well. Make the grid a little bit darker just so we can kind of see it. Now I move the grid up. Now important thing to note is only use one finger while you're doing while you're moving the grid. Because if you use two fingers, you risk magnifying the image and then that kind of throws everything off. And again, like I said, I'm not trying to really go for accuracy here. I'm just uh, showing you guys the basic principle of how to draw a larger image. Um, and you can scale this to any size. Um, what I'm thinking about doing soon, maybe this weekend, I'll make a really large image and I'll show you guys how I did that. Something, uh, maybe something huge. Huge. All right, now instead, we're going to, instead of going down, we'll move this to the left. So I'm gonna make my dots here, here, here. I'm going to move it to the left. See, I'm aligning my, my dots right on the vertices. We're going to move this over so it's aligned. Now we're done. Now I can draw the hand. I actually need to move that over one more because the glass is in the way. By the way, I also like to move from right to left because when you do that you're not smudging the things that you've already drawn on which is important if you're a lefty you might want to do it the other way around also um, you might want to make the dots kind of lighter than I did here um, because you're going to probably want to erase those for your final product or if you're doing this more as like an underpainting kind of idea um, it's easier to erase them and now I'll show you guys I need to do a little bit more I'm gonna move this up so see I have my dots I'm gonna move this up Move the picture down to meet the dots. And I'm need these dots right here. I'm going to finish up. And now, if you press the hide button, which is a new feature which will be released um, hopefully in the next week, you can view everything on full screen. And there we go. That is our large image for you. How to draw a large image using DaVinci Eye.